Today we are sitting down with my good friend Robert Palmer to talk about all things Brooktree Studios and Brooktree Film Lab and what's it like to be a small business owner. So Robert, it's great to chat with you. Yes, Daniel, I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much and thank you uh, for, for allowing me to be on your program. I'm super pumped to talk about everything. So tell me a little bit, uh, what, what made you start your own photography business? Yeah, I've been a photographer for basically my entire life. Um, ever since I was small, my mom would buy us disposable cameras at the beginning of summer vacation, and my friends and I would shoot those cameras over the break, and at the end of the summer, we got to develop the memories and kind of see everything and relive them uh, through those photos. So I've always kind of had a camera in my hands, and you know, working a corporate job, I was at um, a major cell phone carrier for a while as a manager, moved across the country with them, and then I ended up moving back to my home state um, there a few years ago, and I just wasn't feeling fulfilled. Um, my family has a history of small business, and I thought, why can't I combine my love of photography with my family's history of small business management into one? And that's where Brooktree Studios came from. So Brooktree Studios started in 2018, and you've been in the wedding industry ever since. So tell me a little bit about that. How did you, how did you land in, in that specific genre of, uh, of photography? And, and is that what like, got you interested in photography? Yeah, so it isn't what got me interested. I actually started out doing like landscapey, architectural background photography. And one day my friend Amy asked if I could help her on a wedding shoot. She's a videographer here in Decatur, Illinois. And I said, yeah, absolutely. Why not? Let's do it. So I assisted her on that shoot and she ended up giving me a B cam to play around with. And I literally fell in love with the whole just wedding aspect. Everything that is photography happens on a wedding day. You have portraits and candid moments. You have landscapes and details and everything that you can think of photography related happens on a wedding day. I also thrive under pressure and that is something that weddings are very good at giving. Um, is a lot, a lot of pressure. You have to get the shot right the first time. You cannot rewind the first kiss. Um, and so being able to, you know, focus my, man, my, focus my mind and get those photos is what I'm after. I love that so much. And I've had the opportunity to work beside you many a times uh, on, on, on wedding days, which is, has just been so much fun for me. Uh, and it's true, you are like an ace under pressure. I, I, I thrive to be that guy. He like, just so detail oriented, nothing falls through the cracks. He's just like always so locked in. Uh, what, what now gets you so like excited about the medium of photography as a whole? Is there any one thing or like at a high level, like what in photography is like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Right now, that's kind of a resurgence of film photography that we're seeing in the country. Um, you know, it, it started out as kind of a niche hobby. And then a few years ago, it just started to blow up. And while it's not as big as it was back in the 80s and 90s, you know, it's not ever going to be like that. It's still on the up and up. And, you know, we're seeing new members come in every single day. But it's exciting. Film photography is just something new and I can incorporate it with my weddings as well and shoot. It's called hybrid shooting where you have photo, um, film photos and digital photos taken side by side. So that really has kept me energized and it's fresh. Um, it's kept me, you know, nice and motivated. This that was the perfect segue into my next question. Uh, you were my gateway into film photography. Uh, shout out the Pentax 645N, um, a fave forever. Um, yeah, thank you for being my, my gateway into costing my family thousands of dollars. Uh, but, but, uh, I know that last year you kind of, you took, you took that film hobby that we were literally doing in the, in the living room or in the, in the kitchen of your, of your apartment three or four years ago, uh, into a full scale, uh, mail-in and drop-off film lab with Brooktree Film Lab. So tell me a little bit about that. Uh, and what inspired that move into being something that wasn't just like for you, but for, for the greater uh, public? Yeah, that it started even before the kitchen. I was actually in my mom's basement before that we were doing it. And it was just, I had one Love reel, it. like a one reel tank. So you could do one roll at a time and it was just black and white. You know, I wasn't going to mess with all that, that color stuff. Um, but it was really fun. I would do my own film. I would do film for my friends. And then one day a friend of a friend, who I didn't know, asked if I could do a roll of film for her. And I said, yeah, absolutely. And then she asked how much it cost. 
And that was just like a light bulb went off in my mind. And I thought people will pay for film photography, for film processing. And it just snowballed from there. I would take orders from friends of friends and acquaintances and people that I, I knew through association. And then eventually I thought, why don't I open this up? I'm comfortable, I'm getting the equipment together. Why not, you know, help pay for my own hobby? And that's where Brooktree Film Lab came from. It started as kind of an offshoot of the wedding photography business. And it's just grown and grown and grown. This last, like you said, 12 months or so has been fantastic. And we've bought scanners and processing machines and printers. So we are genuinely becoming a one-stop shop for film processing and scanning. Tell me now, what are, what are some of your favorite moments, um, however granular you want to get here, from, from your business, um, whether that's whether that's the, the film lab, that's, that's Berkshire Studios, maybe a little bit of both. Tell me, tell me, what are your favorite moments? I think it's the, honestly, the merging of both of those things. Uh, being able to bring in like the hobbyish side of the film shooting into the professional side of the wedding photography and combining those like we did at your own wedding is just a blast to me. And it's, it's such a neat way to incorporate like both sides of my brain into, into you know, working together coherently. You, you are so good at like meeting, meeting those worlds. Like, like I said, it's, it's just so, so cool to see uh, how they keep coming together. And, and it's nice that that's like a, a cool service that you can offer, offer your clients too. Like that's something unique to you that you probably don't get from other, other, other photographers in the area. Yeah. Well, tell me what, what is, what does scale look like for you? You know, are, are there specific big picture goals or, or is this just like, I want to just keep doing, keep doing what I'm doing, keep, keep healthy growth. Uh, doing 30 weddings a year, doing 900 rolls of film a month. Like, tell, tell me what does that look like for you? Yeah, so with wedding photography, I love working with people that I get along really, really well with. And, you know, through the, through the years when I've had more inquiries than dates that I need filled, I'm able to kind of be a little picky about who I get to work with. And I get to really zone in on my ideal client because I know that if we get along well, the photos are going to reflect that and they're just going to look 10 times better than if some random person did it. So with the scale of the company growing, I get to dive in a little bit more and really see what are the you know personality traits, what are the characteristics that make an ideal client for me for weddings. And because I have this film lab business that fills in the other 80% of my time, I can scale back and focus more intently on those weddings um, and then have the film lab kind of happening, you know, the nine to five Monday through Friday. It's so cool too that each of those has the space for the other, right? They, they, they really do work in tandem and, and, and and create an awesome opportunity for you. I, I love that. So Robert, tell us where can we find you and how can we keep up with all things Brooktree? Absolutely, the easiest way would probably be Instagram. That is like the photo sharing platform, right? So it's uh, at Brooktree, B-R-O-O-K-T-R-E-E, -E, and then at Brooktree Film Lab, which is the same thing just with Film Lab at the end of it. Um, <laughs> we just went through a rebranding with the Film Lab, so I, you know that's super exciting. Um, and it's, it. it's yeah. been a neat place to post updates and share things. With the weddings, they're getting started in about a week, I think. So you'll start seeing more wedding content, um, but always there to talk about photography, film, or anything else you want to chat about. Well, thank you, Robert, so much for taking the time to sit down with us. We super enjoy uh, getting to see the growth. The rebrand is super exciting, and uh, hopefully you've got some new people sending you film at the end of this. Can't beat it. Absolutely, Daniel. Anytime, man. Always here to help out and chat. Awesome. Have a great rest of your day, man. I'll talk to you soon. You too. Bye-bye.